Good evening, my dear students. I am Fadmi. I welcome you all to this session. Today we are going to learn clutch. So, as we know, there are three units of the sentence. That is word, phrase, and clutch. So, today we are going to learn clutch. How many kinds of clutch? What is a clutch? How can we use it? All we will discuss today's class. Okay? So, what is a clutch? A group of words, a group of words, that is the part of a sentence. It has its own subject and a finite verb, but it doesn't give us a complete sense. It's known as a clutch. For example, I lost a pen which is red in color. I lost a pen which is red in color. Or we can say, he could not remember, he could not remember where he had hidden the gold necklace. He couldn't remember where he had hidden the gold necklace. Another ex example we can take. Like, there was someone in the group who was new to this town. There was someone in the group who was new to this town. So, these all are, for example, as I said, who was new to this town. Where he had hidden the gold necklace which is blue in color. These all are clothes. It has its own subject and a finite verb. It is the part of a sentence, but it doesn't give us the complete sense, but it gives us a sense. So these are the clothes. So how many kinds of clothes? So there are three types of clothes. There are three types of clothes. That is, is our number one, that is the principal clause. Number two, that is coordinate clause. And number three, that is the subordinate clause. So, what is principal clause? Principal clause is also known as the main clause. When an independent clause can stand by itself as the complete sentence, then it is known as the principal clause or the main clause. For example, I wrote this letter. I wrote this letter. Here, wrote is the finite verb and it is the independent clause. I wrote this letter. So, it is known as the principal clause. So, what is the coordinate clause? What is a coordinate clause? Means a sentence which is made up of two or more principal or main clause is called a compound sentence. And the clause of a compound sentence are known as the coordinate clause. Then the coordinate clause of the compound sentence are joined by coordinating conjunctions. What are those? Like as well as, but, and, so. Next, then what is a subordinate clause? Is we know that a clause that cannot stand on its own and depends on another clause to make the complete sense is known as the subordinate clause. For example, whenever, that, when, if, till, since these all are known as the subordinate clause. Okay. So there are three types of subordinate clause. And what are the three types of subordinate clause? One that is adjective clause. Number two that is adverb clause. And number three that is noun clause. Okay. So what is an adjective clause? So what is an adjective clause? A clause that performs the role of an adjective in a sentence is known as an adjective clause. For example, we are looking for a puppy. Okay, we are looking for a puppy which has white dots. Okay. So, as we know, this adjective clause, this adjective clause are of two types. That is the defining clause and non-defining clause. So, what is the difference between the defining clause and non-defining clause? 
Defining clause gives essential information. Essential information about the person or things. Okay? But what is non-defining clause? Non-defining clause gives us the extra information about the person and the thing. As we discussed that an adjective clause performs the function of an adjective and describe a noun and a pronoun. So it is introduced by the relative pronouns like that, who, which, where and so on. Okay. So next, so next that is adverb clause. So what is an adverb clause? A clause that performs the role of an adverb is called an adverb clause. Okay. So there are uh, different uh, kinds of adverb clause. Means like adverb clause or can be following types like your place, manner, time, region, condition. This all comes under the adverb of adverb clause. Okay. So noun clause. So what is a noun clause? A clause that performs the function of a noun in a sentence is known as the noun clause. For example, he said that he would be late. He said that he would be late. Okay. Then another one. What he has told you is known to everyone. Third, what he has told you is known to everyone. So in the first sentence, I said he said that he would be late. That he would be late. It is used as the object in the sentence. And the second mm -hmm. sentence what he has said or what he has told you is known to everyone. So here it is used as the subject in the sentence. So noun clause can be used as the object to the verb and as the subject to the verb also. Okay. So based on clause, we are going to solve some exercises of your book. Okay my dear students. And one more thing. I need the answers from your side. Okay? Okay, my dear students, based on clause and kinds of clause, we are going to solve some exercises of your book. Okay? So, let's see on the board. Make sentences with adjective clause using the information about some beautiful beds in South India given below. Okay? So, question number one. Bhatta Kodai a good picnic spot 6 km from Kanyakumari. So, we have to use here the adjective plus. So, Bhatta Kotai, which is a good picnic spot, lies 6 km from Kanyakumari. Okay? Then number 2. My dear students, I need answers from your side in this comment section. Okay? Pondicherry, a lovely beach in Tamil Nadu. Pondicherry, which is a lovely beach lies in Tamil Nadu. Very good. Number three. Marina Beach in Chennai. Marina Beach in Chennai, the second longest beach in the world. Marina Beach, which is the second longest beach in the world, lies in Chennai. Okay. Number four. Rameswaram, a cod shaped island. Rameswaram, a cod shaped island. Extends over an area of around 60 kilometers. Rameswaram. Which extends over an area of around 60 kilometers is a cod shaped island. Is a cod shaped island. Mangalore. Number 5. Mangalore. A bustling port and an enchanting beach. Seaside city lying 357 kilometers from Bangalore. Mangalore, which is a sea, seaside city, lying 357 km from Bangalore, is a bustling port and an enchanting beach. Is a bustling port and an enchanting beach. Okay? The number 6. Kovalam, 30 km from Tiruvantapuram. Kovalam, 30 km from Tiruvantapuram. Famous for its beautiful sunset. Okay. Kavalam, which is famous for its 
beautiful sunset is 30 km from Tiruvanta Puram. Okay? Then question number 7. Kunya Kumari, the southernmost tip of the Indian peninsula, the spot where the Indian Ocean, the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea meet. So this is a non-defining clause. So how we will write here Kanya Kumari that we have to put a comma. Kanya Kumari, the southernmost steep of the Indian Peninsula, which is the spot where the Indian Ocean, the Bay of Bengal, and the Arabian Sea meet. Okay. Then question number eight. Bali Ghat, eight kilometer north of Puri, one of the most peaceful bays in India. So Bali Ghat, which is one of which is one of the most peaceful bays in India, lies eight kilometer north of Puri. Okay. So let us discuss another exercise of your book. Next exercise is using the information given below about some elements means digits, write sentences using relative clause. Okay. So question number one. Mums, infectious diseases found generally among children. So we have to use here the relative clause. And I need the answers from my dear students in this comment section. Okay. So mums which is an infectious disease is generally found among children. Okay. Then number two. Epilepsy, a disorder of the nervous system causes fit and unconsciousness. The answer is epilepsy which is a disorder of the nervous system causes fit and unconsciousness. Okay. Number three. Diabetes. A disease, sugar and starch cannot be observed. Diabetes is a disease in which sugar and starch cannot be observed. Okay. Then number four. Migraine. Migraine is severe and frequently occurring headache. Migraine is severe and frequently occurring headache. Affect one side of the head. The answer is. Migraine, which is a severe and frequently occurring headache, affects one side of the head. Okay. Then the question number five. Chicken pox, specially cut by children, marked by slight fever and spots on the skin. The answer is chicken pox, which is specially cut by children, is marked by slight fever and spots on the skin. Okay. So in this uh, today's video we have discussed cross kinds of cross and their use and we have done some exercises. I hope my students have understood this. Okay. Thank you my dear.